Hey guys, welcome to Own Developments. Um, so today we're gonna to talk about speed sensors, what it is that they do, uh, why you need one or why you, why you don't need one, and what exactly you get for the sort of, you know, sort of 300, 400 pound uh, mark, because it's not really much in your hand. So let's get into it. So first off, what do they do? Um, so as the name would suggest, a speed sensor measures speed. <laughs> Simple as that, really. Um, this is a sensor that screws into the compressor cover of your turbo. So if you have a look at this nicely machined uh, compressor cover. So what we do here at Owen Development, um, one of the modifications that we do to our turbos and obviously to other turbos as well, if necessary, um, is a nice threaded section inside here for the compressor wheel. So what this does is allows the sensor to screw on a nice fine thread inside of here, right up against nice flush against this profile. And what's that, what that's gonna do is enable this actual small sensor here um, to read exactly how many revolutions per minute your compressor wheel is, is turning at. So the way that this works is by the sensor emitting a radio wave frequency so that every single time one of the blades passes that sensor, the signal bounces back telling the ECU exactly how many revolutions the compressor wheel is performing. And you know, the sensor plugs straight into the ECU, um, you know, assuming it's a standalone system, you know, such as a MoTeC or anything like that. So why is that important? Speed sensors are important because if your compressor wheel overspeeds, not only can it damage the turbo, but it can cause a whole host of problems and sort of down the line in terms of um, if the, when the vehicle is getting mapped, um, it can be quite hard for a mapper to understand exactly what the turbo is doing if they're not having real time information coming back from the turbo. Speed sensors aren't 100% necessary or required for every single turbo. It's more for um, high-end like performance servo chargers or for, you know, for motorsport application and in particular instances on turbos where by the, there's a form of restriction around the compressor cover like this one. So this is a 34mm restrictor. So what that's going to do is it's going to reduce the amount of airflow that comes into the unit, essentially choking the turbo a little bit. Um, why are speed sensors important for instances such as this when the turbo is uh, restricted? is because you're essentially creating a, an, a pressure imbalance, which is going to allow the compressor wheel um, to, to essentially overspeed. Okay, so if you don't have a speed sensor inside, um, sort of equipped to your turbo, it's kind of just a free for all really. You've got less pressure for the compressor wheel to spin in, which means that it increases the chances of it just completely overspeeding and potentially lose um, lose control of the turbo essentially you can cause uh, issues with the compressor wheel you know we've seen it in many instances where the compressor wheel it's you get like an orange peely effect i haven't got one here unfortunately to show you but you, it creates it almost it almost creates so much centrifugal force that the compressor wheel starts to sort of peel apart the actual material itself and we have seen in some situations where the compressor wheel actually you know pieces of the, t the turbo actually begin to break away under, you know, so much centrifugal force. Um, so I mean, obviously that's an extreme example, but having that real time information being fed back to the ECU means that your tuner or your mapper, you know, they've got the information there to actually work with. Then you can obviously um, reduce the amount of boost pressure or bleed off boost, should I say, um, to slow the turbo back down a little bit to sort of bring those compressor wheel speeds back down. It's something that's worth having um, on a performance turbocharger and it's kind of just an extra fail safe really. That could be the difference between your turbo surviving um, if it's going to overspeed and not. You know in some instances we've seen uh, where turbos have over, you know, it has suffered from overspeed um, and it's, it's written the turbo off so you know you, you can spend a few hundred pounds um, on one of these and obviously it's you know it's down to your mapper or your tuner um, to sort of set everything up and set the parameters by but it can be the difference between you spending you know, a few hundred pounds or a few thousand pounds if you destroy your turbocharger, basically. So do you need to have a speed sensor? The short answer is no, um, but in the same sense that you don't need to have ABS, it's, it's pretty handy to have if you want to stop pretty damn quickly. The, the thing is, if you're gonna be spending sort of 1,500, 2,000 pounds, 3,000 pounds plus on a, turbo, on a performance turbocharger, you know, such as this, it can be the difference between not only 
um, allowing your engine tuner or mapper to squeeze sort of every ounce of boost and power out of the unit um, because they can read exactly what the turbo speed uh, is doing in real time. Um, but it's also going to give you that sort of extra level of a, a fail safe um, to stop the, the, the unit from having essentially a catastrophic failure, which you know we have seen you know, a multitude of times. So yeah, hopefully you found the video interesting, um, you know, it might have answered some questions. And you know, of course, if you've got any questions, feel free to hit us up in the comment section. And yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.